Hello everyone. My name is Mtekereza of Sikula Lamek. I'm currently based in Kinshasa, but I was born in a village called Bikoma in the south of Mkabu, in the east of the Democratic Republic of the Congo. I was ordained as pastor within the Presbyterian Community Church of Kinshasa in September 2019. I'm not pastoring a local church. Instead, I'm the founder and president of NOAA Art Creation Rescue Mission, NACREM, a Christian Environmental and Climate Change Literacy Ministry that seeks to help networking between churches and schools beyond denomination. We aim to develop contextual and orality based leadership and set programs for outdoor or garden based worship and sustainable food production. Our vision. We envision network churches and school communities engaging in ecosystem gardening and small-scale community woodlands as acts of worship in the Creator's shining cosmic temple, uniting consumers and decomposers and producers naturally and harmoniously to celebrate God as Creator and the source of life. We especially want to balance food and habitats for the neediest, including children and pregnant women, and for species that pollinate, decompose, and recycle organic materials such as bees, birds, earthworms, etc., and that could be found. We have support from the Bible, Genesis 2:15, number, Numbers chapter 3, verse 7 to 8, chapter 8, 25 to 26. Uh, First Chronicles chapter 23, 32, Ezekiel 28, 11 to 19, Ezekiel 43, verse 1 to 2, Chronicles 2 Chronicles chapter 7, verse 1 to 16, etc. Our mission. We are working with to implement a training and outreach curriculum that reconciles faith, science, and culture, and enables community, discipleship groups, and church planting leaders to establish family-sized ecosystem gardens and woodlands on the church and school land or elsewhere in the community. These gardens would be used to share the experience of the triune God as creator, the source of life, and the cosmic savior. We want to encourage participants to listen to and interpret creation's own worship language in anticipation of the cosmic chorus of praise reflected in Psalm 148, Isaiah 43, verse 15, and Psalm 104, etc. Indeed, the network churches and schools are committed to special yearly outdoor worship ceremonies based on the local agriculture agricultural calendar. The aim is to redeem sacred forests, traditional agrarian practices, and rain-making rituals to encourage local communities to appreciate the splendor of creation and moon about the degradation of local agriculture and forest ecosystems caused by humans. We also want to promote the establishment at family and community level of ecosystem gardens associated with home biogas digester, at least in vertical sex garden, and agroforestry for the sustainable production of staple and balanced food for both human and non-human mem community member. The prayer for rain and worship ceremonies should include sharing local knowledge about weather and climate change in order to come up with faith-grounded and garden-adapted mitigation and adaptation measures as act of worship to God and service to our fellow creator. Why do we do all of this? DRC, my home country, 
includes much of the world's second largest rainforest after Amazon. It is the vital carbon sink which we've reached by biodiversity and is home for about, uh, I'm talking about uh, the Congo Basin, is home for about 250 million people. Unfortunately, like most parts of the world, this area is expected to experience a significant rise in temperature. Experts say that under high emission scenario, average temperatures in the region are expected to increase by 2.5 degrees Celsius by the year 2050, and between 2.5 to 5 degrees Celsius by the year 2100. A decrease productivity, uh, a decrease, uh, a, a decrease in productivity is predicted. Agricultural communities require will require more land for cultivation, resulting in further deforestation. Families, small scale subsistence farming, families involved in small scale subsistence families is said to be the biggest driver contributing to around 84% of deforestation. The most alarming prediction has it that the Congo Basin natural forest, natural forest could disappear by the year 2100. In the DRC, where I am from, the general lack of knowledge regarding the functioning of the ecosystem and especially the loss of symbolism related to forests is a spiritual failure. And yet relics of African traditional religions are still alive in the subconscious of most of African Christians. In this regard, I have two points. One, I don't understand the phobia about African traditional spirituality. I'm convinced that African church worship must go beyond the selective borrowing of rituals like trance dancing to redeeming the agrarian, I mean sowing and harvesting rituals, sacred forest rituals, and the rain making rituals. These should be instruments used to communicate the gospel. Number two, regarding the predicted catastrophic impact of climate change, on agriculture. I'm afraid that the collapsology movement could have a, a negative impact on church in Africa, which are already well established in rural areas. Collapsology is a alarming discourse, and the new age proselytism could find a welcome in some churches apocalyptic eschatology. The base of permaculture and eco-village, coupled with hugging trees during nature-based healing session, could seduce even enthusiastic Christians who are nostalgic, nostalgic of the traditional religions. For the reasons above, the Envisaged National and Regional Network of Creation Care in Churches in DRC is not motivated by a merely nostalgic African traditional spirituality. Instead, we believe that ecosystem gardening and the redeeming of sacred forests, agrarian rituals and rainmaking rituals is the appropriate strategy for Africanizing church worship and the way out of the dualistic, catastrophic and apocalyptic message. This must be replaced by the hope for a better future for the entire creation, which will be united in a chorus of cosmic worship. A proposed uh, elements of uh, worship liturgy, outdoor worship liturgy, these elements uh, will be saved in the charts. They require your inputs. The goal of such liturgy to get human and non-human participants united in worshiping the Creator. Since 2015, we have been campaigning to influence churches to join a network of creation and caring movement. 
Some in Kinshasa and South Kivu have established discipleship groups already studying Ruth Valerio's book, Staying Yes to Life. They are determined to restore the soil ecosystem and cattle that we lost during the recurring wars in Eastern Congo. And they are marking already vertical sack gardens. The sowing and the harvest ceremony worship services in Kinshasa have been occasion for, for praising the Lord. The Alliance Baptist Church, he can be commended for being the pioneer partner in the Congo River Bank's best worship program. The ministry encourages planning of new churches with creation caring as integral parts, integral parts of the church program. <laughs> We have a prayer request. We need your prayers for a successful conference during the first week of August. We will gather about seven churches to explore issues and opportunity for outdoor ecosystem garden based worship to encourage environmental and climate change literacy in the Congo Basin. This will include the appreciation of creation splendor at the local level while mourning for environmental scenes such as deforestation, biodiversity distribution, and waste of organic, organic material. Thank you everyone for listening. God bless you.